The scene tonight overlooking Westminster. Today was the Jubilee's crowning touch, the kind of show that Britain does best, marred only by the fact that Prince Philip was in hospital. But with a monarchy that's all about duty, the show must go on. Take a look inside St. Paul's Cathedral as the Queen and her family attended a national service of thanksgiving. After that, the moments kept coming. The procession, those crowds, the cheers, all of it capped off by an appearance on the balcony. Leading us off again tonight, as she has with all our Jubilee coverage, the CBC's Susan Ormiston. Susan. Peter, the four-day party fit for a queen is over. She's now been properly feted for 60 years of service, and few in the crowds we've seen wanted any less. She is so rarely alone for the ceremonial moments. Her walk into St. Paul's Cathedral was a poignant reminder the queen won't reign forever. Remarkably, for most, she is the only monarch they've ever known. And the Archbishop of Canterbury invoked their gratitude. We give thanks today for Her Majesty's 60 years of utterly demanding, yet deeply joyful service. The service of Thanksgiving was a time for reflection and prayers. Of Prince Philip, and our prayers and thoughts are very much with him this morning. A pause after three days of regal pageantry. This was the crowning day, a procession through central London, the streets banked by crowds still. It may have rained on her parade, rocked her house, the palace, and tested her stamina. But the Diamond Jubilee has cemented Britain's affection for the monarchy. Emma Wiggs is a Paralympic athlete. She's just been an incredible leader uh, for, for, for all of our generations, really. So I'm a, I'm a big fan, and I think it's such an exciting year that we try and soak up everything we can. Along the route, thousands camped overnight or marked their spots early. This was vintage British pomp and ceremony. This queen has processed up this mall towards Buckingham Palace so many times. But with the silver, golden, and now diamond jubilees behind her, we may not see a jubilee moment like this again. The events that I have attended to mark my diamond jubilee have been a humbling experience. Thank you all. Then, the traditional rush for the palace gates to get a spot below the balcony. A quarter million Brits and the odd Canadian. It's all good. And the Queen? Amazing. I gotta go. Finally, Queen Elizabeth emerged with her closest family, so much a part of the celebration. She is subtly staging her succession, just not yet. Peter, not a hitch. No security threat, no large demonstrations for the royals. This has to be seen as a crowning success. Continuity has its charms, and Britain was seduced. All right, thanks, Susan. Susan Ormiston here in London.